Let's see if we can't do something about my boredom. All right, so anyone who was in the stream last night knows that I didn't plan ahead. Also, I can probably mute my computer so you don't hear that. Um, anyone watching the stream last night knows I got my shit pushed in by the nemesis because my dumbass forgot I had to fight him. And I went in there with a, a handgun and hopes and wishes. I went in there with a Devil May Care attitude and Jill Valentine's beret. It was my entire inventory. But uh, this time, I've got a few items. Thought I'd take just a handful. Just the necessities you would need to fight a nemesis. Two or three things, you know. Just to top you off. So... I watched it on Twitch earlier. I laughed at you. That's so terrible. Easy mode. If this was easy mode, I'd just be tri-wielding assault rifles. All right. Let's go fuck the nemesis up. Could talk during this law, but it didn't. Shut up, cutscene. Nobody likes you. You're pre-rendered. All right. Of course, we got the witness. The initial fucking penetr. Okay. Let's do the shit. Shoot your fucking rockets at me. I hate how you're in virus status during this. So you don't know how much health you have. That's the nemesis secret technique. I'm just gonna stand here until he gets tired of trying to shoot that rocket launcher me, or runs over here and fucking hits me in the mouth with it. Those are both valid options. Nemesis, you can't hit shit. You need a fucking ACOG on that rocket launcher. Ow! Oh god. Oh god, I got hit right in the mouth. Well, I don't know how much heals I need, but we're gonna eat one. He got stunned for a brief moment. Come on. What kind of rocket launcher does he have? If only Noah Carden were here. I need somebody to be my proxy Noah. Somebody needs to talk about anime. Oh god! Grab by the goalies! Get up, Jill! I believe in you. I believe in the Jill that believes in me. She's like, I don't believe in you. And I'm like, well, I don't believe in that Jill. Nemesis dodging like a smooth fucking criminal, my god! I didn't realize they used Michael Jackson's DNA to create him. Run! Ugh. I probably... I'm gonna take one more hit before I heal again. Look at me! Oh god. Why did I let this happen? Oh god, if he grabs me again. Get up, Jill! Jill! Ugh, heels. Heels for Jeels. It's my favorite charity. Nemesis hates freeze rounds. So, let's do that. Oh, oh god, I hate it when he dodges on there. Oh, I shot you. It doesn't matter. I got you good, you fucker. Well, I knocked him down. But he gets knocked down, but he'll get up again. Because he's never going to keep him down. All right. I assume I'm hitting him. Okay, my gun grenade launcher's hit me. Uh, let's keep shooting the fucking thing at him. Could take him out Magnum come loudy style. I'm doing it. Son, I roll with my Magnum. Jill Valentine of Stars, and I roll with my Magnum. Also roll with auto aim. Fuck the Knicks! Oh my god! Alright, we're getting him. Alright, he can't take much more of this abuse. There we go. That's what I like to see. Where are you going to Green Sage? Back to your homeland? Uh. Jill, you're bad off. Ha! <laughs> Look at Carla's barrel rolling through the fire Jill. like he's cool. Jill! Hang in there! What have I done? I'm sorry, Jill. Please, wake up! What did Carlos mean by what have I done? I think Carlos secretly thinks he's the nemesis because he's a fucking Jill. idiot. October 1st, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. Oh. 
Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. I don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. All right, some motivational words from Carlos. And it's Carlos time. Look at that picture in the corner. Any foxy ladies in the chat? Do you dig his sexy accent? All right. Tommy, do you dig his sexy accent? Because you're a foxy lady. All right, all we have... That's Carlos. Well, we have a knife and a, our ink ribbon. Hey, what? Well, we'll use the ink ribbon because I'm apparently bad at video games. Who knew? Why didn't anyone tell me I was bad at video games? Why did I put my assault rifle up? I'm so bad at video games, I can't even manage my damn inventory. Oh, God, it's a nightmare. All right, we need you and you. What is up here? Carlos can use the infinite rocket launcher. That's beautiful. God, if shit gets desperate, I'm going to cheat my way to victory. All right. What's he got? Hold on. Hmm. Going to set the manual mode. Ah, I can't have that. There we go. Sigpro. It's mainly made of plastic and is very light. What a plastic handgun? That's terrible. Thanks, Obama. She does have no feels. And my doll. <laughs> Alright. It's Carlos. Carlos goes to Hollywood. Relax. Don't do it. Carlos is going to get to it. Relax. Don't do it. Carlos wants to come. Carlos, your theme song is very uh, risque. Oh, hey, Ozier, you're in the stream for once. That's a fucking Christmas miracle. Zombies fucking everywhere. It's better than crows, though. You don't want crows fucking everywhere. You're late. Explain. Look at him hide around that corner like he's so fucking cool. And the gang. Well, that was difficult. Oh, God, I ran into him intentionally. Just to prove I was a man. A manly man. You know Carlos is a manly man because he has no sleeves. No time for sleeves. Sleeves slow him down. Can't be aerodynamic and got sleeves. Are there any items? I don't think there are any items in here for Carlos. Isn't that sad? What's with that belt thing on his upper thigh? Carlos, are you wearing a garter? Is that why the foxy ladies dig your accent? Dark souls. Why is the chat talking about dark souls? Alright, spiders! Oh, shit. Oh, Garrett's playing Dark Souls. Are you playing it the right way? Which I don't know how to describe. Giant spiders are a joke. It's true. Zombies grab sleeves all the time. Now that we're a manly man with our Y chromosome, we can push this bell out of the way. Look how easily he does it, too. Jill was like, ugh. If only I hadn't spilt my childhood learning to play the piano and lock pick locks and do chemistry. Oh, Barry. Where's Barry? Oh, hey guys. How you doing? We're going to get you all congregated around this fucking barrel and then we're going to shoot it. How's that sound? They're like, not too good. Alright. We'll get at least two of them. There we go. That's what I like to see. I'll get the fuck out of my way. Can I juke him? Let's find out. Carlos the mercenary, can he juke it? I thought of that in my mind and there was no filter to make my mouth not say it, so I'm very sorry. Okay, hopefully there are no hunters in here and we'll be good. Carlos is like, what? Fucking hunters. Hey, I was shooting you. You can't hit me when you're stunned. Oh, God, another hunter. 
Oh, I hope my assault rifle can take it. Uh, Carlos, I hate you. Caution. Look at his facial expression. He doesn't know what to do. Don't know whether to shit or go blind. Anyone like Carlos in the chat? You can tell me. I won't tell anyone. I won't get you exported from the country. Let's see. There's so much going on in the chat. Uh, tight clothes, short hair. You roll cleric and use a sword. Uh, Hozier, your, your train of thought changed in the middle of that. I was like, oh, Hozier's what you describing what you do in a zombie apocalypse. And he was like, oh, you roll cleric. And I was like, Hozier, what? I don't think... In the zombie apocalypse, I don't think we get assigned Dungeons and Dragons classes. <laughs> Alright. First say spray! Spray, spray, spray. There's mortal wounds away. Good times. Also, I'm fucking lousy with red herbs. This will completely restore your vitality. Carlos is better than Steve. Yes, he is. Steve is probably the worst Resident Evil character of all time. Ugh, he is useless. That is true. Carlos does go to just the regular hospital and somehow makes a cure for the fucking T-virus to give the Jill. Doctor's Diary. He's like, I hope there are no zombies in here to kill me. Alright. And handgun bullets in a doctor's locker because why not? Why wouldn't a doctor have handgun bullets? Alright. Look at this fancy tape recorder. Do doctors use handheld tape recorders? This was set in 1998 though, wasn't it? Alright, we have to make this think we're a doctor. I think the doctor is like, the patient seems to have a fracture right above the tibia or something along those lines. So let's see what he says. Uh, he didn't use technical terms. Okay, every time we use that elevator, it's fucking rolling the dice because there's a chance we'll proc zombie fucking madness. So let's hope we don't proc zombie fucking madness. A man can carry a gun anywhere. Are you referring to why a doctor has hango bullets in his locker? <laughs> Alright, let's solve a puzzle. Let's solve a mystery and rewrite history. Look at you so fucking alive in the middle of the room. I'm gonna use my shitty handgun on you. He's not. But you should you should still be alive. Fine, fuck you. It's not like I like shooting zombies or anything. 253. Everyone remember that. Alright. Oh, now you get up. Look at that. It's just such a shitty little piss at handgun. I'm too accustomed to Jill's fucking big, thick, hard, throbbing samurai edge. Carlos comes in here with his limp dick fucking SIG Pro 1280 or whatever this fucking thing is. Isn't that is that the gun in Counter Strike? The like little compact gun? <gasps> Multiple of fifteen, but now Alright. So you're in this corner, so when I do this in the other room, it should be mirrored, right? Let's hope so. He had two five three on him. I hope y'all remembered that for me. Twelve people in the stream, including me. Because I'm a real boy. Uh, we have to get the key first. The key to this whole situation. Alright, we get to see where the uh, random black mercenary dies. So, I guess it'll be in here. Nikolai got blown the fuck through that window. 
Uh, the black mercenary guy gets a more badass death here because if you meet him in the basement, he just stupidly opens a wall safe and a bomb inside of it blows him up. So at least here he got to be like, fuck you. Also, like how his corpse isn't emaciated at all, or Carlos doesn't even acknowledge him with a fucking text prompt. <laughs> Alright. Oh wait, I didn't mean to go through that door. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would love the sick room key. How polite of them to ask me if I wanted it. Photo D, zombies. Who took the time to take this and develop it and leave it in this damn hospital? The zombie outbreak's been happening for like two days. I guess that's enough time to develop a picture, but you think they'd have more important things to do. You think I'll ever find a green herb? Um, Ben, are you going to sadly play through all the Resident Evil games you like? Well, I mean, I just kind of play Resident Evil games that I like in my own time. I guess I could play them on a camera while people judge me harshly. I'm going to do a full playthrough of the Outbreak series. I just haven't yet. It's just one of those things I've been planning for like years to do and I just haven't. So don't worry about that. In the meantime, just watch OMG Kevin. Garrett was over here the other night uh, it was the night me, him, and Noah recorded... What the fuck did we record? I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, we played some more Mega Man 8. But, um... Garrett was over here sitting in the living room with me and my roommate watching Tenfei videos. It was the most meta-fucking shit I'd ever seen in my life. Like, I was trying to talk to him, and the, the Tenfei in the computer was trying to talk to him, and then we got in an argument. What was the uh, code for the safe? Who remembers? Who's been paying attention? Garrett, you just spoiled the shit out of a game we're playing. Oh, good job, Axel. Tommy, is 253 a prime number? Look at that little TV by the bed. That's adorable. I mean, it could be a monitor for this equipment, but I like to think whoever was in this room was watching the littlest CRT TV. He's probably watching an Ernest movie. If he had any class. <sighs> Garrett, how do you explain the fact that while we were hanging out in the living room with Gene, you watched OMG Arthur Nobody fucking watches OMG Arthur. I still don't fucking understand it. It's a fucking enigma. Zombie madness! Oh my god! I don't want to use up all my assault rifle bullets, but I also don't want to get eaten to death. Alright, we'll tenderize him with a couple of assault rifle rounds, and then we'll just finish him off with a pistol. There we go, that's what I like to see. If you haven't watched MG Arthur, you're not missing out on anything. Just watch 1AM Gaming uh, Episode 11, because I play the same game. I play Super Ghouls and Ghosts in that one as well. Ooh, I'm betting there are going to be Hunters. Hunter! He got lit the fuck up. I hear another one. Hunters always travel in packs. What if the other one was Hunter S. Thompson? And he was like, we can't stop here. It's Carlos country. I like how when I press the auto-aim button, you can see Carlos slightly shiver with anticipation. That's that UBCS auto-aim I was talking about in OMG Hunt. All right. Oh, I want to shoot that bomb and kill him, but I also don't want to get murdered by him. Bomb shot! Oh, he dodged the fuck out of it. Whew. What a nightmare. All right. <gasps> Look at the little computer monitor. You'd be like, oh, I'm going to play uh, King's Quest 1. You couldn't see shit. That's fucking delightful. Everything in this hospital is tiny and kawaii. <gasps> Green herbs, yeah. Time to make some fat heels, yo. Yo, Mr. White. 
We're going to make the fool heels. And he's like, Jesse, get the beans. Jesse. <laughs> now I kind of want to request a comic or a picture of Jesse and Mr. White from Breaking Bad, but in Raccoon City. But I'm being a little self-indulgent. What's the chat got to say? Super Gold's Ghost is one of my favorite Capcom games. Well, I'm not good at it. <gasps> hey, the Green Sage. I just kind of noticed you there in the chat for a second. Is uh, Do you have enough Bento lunchbox to share? <laughs> Don't watch Breaking Bad because it'll never live up to the hype I've built it up with. All right, let's think. We have to... Oh, yeah, we have to put this in that machine. And, yeah, this thing tells us the truth behind the lies. It's like, here's how you make the T-Virus uh, antidote. Why didn't we do that before? All this shit happened. I like how in order to power the antidote machine, you have to drain the hunter tanks. That's a weird system. It's like the engineer, the guy, the electrician was here working on this place. And he was like, well, I mean, I could put in a vaccine uh, computation machine, but it's going to take power away from your hunter tanks. That's just the way it is, all right? That's just the way these old hospital buildings are designed. They can't handle the capacity. Oh, I hate this puzzle because you have to, like, know things. Also hate it because I'm so good at it. Doing puzzle dance. Sugoi Monogatari Haniki. Just call me Sage. But you're the green sage. I might get you mixed up with one of the other ones. Alright. And booyah! Vaccine. Also, a vaccine doesn't help a person who's already infected, Carlos. Alright, I hope you know that. Alright, for good, we can run out of this room before these guys get us and eat us in some horrible Goro fashion. Ugh, fucking Goro. Alright, we can do it. We can do it. Yeah! Hunter betas are just that. They're like, oh, that feel with no hunter girlfriend. Hunter girlfriends. Is that rule forty four? Rule thirty four on hunters? Because you know I've never seen it. Shisha! I hope there was a hunter standing there. <laughs> I love turning and shooting bombs. There wasn't. Oh, what a shame. All right, there's a probably when we go up to the lobby, we've already proc zombie madness. We're probably gonna proc hunter. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to hit fourth four. Damn it. Sundara. It's pronounced Sundara. You're the only one in the world that doesn't think it is. I'm not even Noah, and I know that. <laughs> You're 100% sure, Garrett? How do you know that, huh? You sound awfully certain of yourself. Look at this big ass water bottle. Alright. I guess we'll take this blue herb just for fun. I guess the spiders on the way here could have poisoned Carlos is why there's a blue herb, but I don't know. <gasps> Bombs! I hope whoever planted that bomb used it wisely, or Peppy Hair be rolling in his grave. You get like six seconds. Did you know on easy difficulty you get like a minute to run out of here? Peppy hair yelling at you the whole time. Let's watch Carlos's action scene. Well, good job, Carlos. At least it saved me the time of running back here. I guess I shouldn't be so surprised that there's Rule 34 on Hunters because I've confirmed seeing that there's Rule 34 on fucking Death Claws from Fallout. So, and they're not that different. Uh, hey, ladies. How y'all doing? <laughs> you don't have the dash being tap K to dodge. Speaking of quick time events, I've recorded the new 1AM Gaming and it's completely done. I'm going to upload it tonight. 
and I played the demo of a little gem by the name of Ashura's Wrath, and basically the whole game is a QTE. It's fucking ridiculous, but at the same time, so captivating. But I won't spoil anymore. Jeff, why do you always log on when I'm streaming? This place got fucked up. Oh yeah, the Nemesis. Alright, should I try to fight the Nemesis as Carlos? Can I do it? He's in super tentacle rape mode. He's in full-blown LeBlue Girl mode. Carlos is like, I'll have to use all my sex, sex craft techniques to fight him. Ugh. Oh! Oh god, I can't do it! Carlos can't fight the Nemesis! What was I thinking? What was I thinking? No, Carlos! I secretly loved you all along! Alright. Uh... <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I'm just saying! Maybe this is Carlos's chance to shine! Oh god, I'm drunk! Carlos, you got too much Cervezas in you! Oh, oh! Oh, look at this bitch ass running away! Nemesis, you crazy! Shogun7 is my friend Jeff. He's appeared in a, a couple of Tenfei videos. Oh yeah! How could he get through such deeps? That wall of deeps was hitting him so hard. No, don't let him grab you, Carlos! No, Carlos, your hips are moving on their own! He's like, what are we gonna do in the dining room, Nemesis Chan? Oh god, Nemesis, you fucking punk bitch! Come back here, I ain't done shooting you! Oh god, if he makes it to Geo, I lose, don't I? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Uh, here. We'll just ignore him. <laughs> How's that sound? Damn it, Carlos. Now, I don't want to make any insinuations on how Carlos administers this vial of vaccine to Geo, but it fades to black, and I just want you to listen to the sounds she makes when he administers it, and you make up your own little fan fiction. Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. Carlos is so against Nikolai. One magnum bullet had saved one for myself. Son, if you shoot yourself in the head with a magnum, so badass. <laughs> I'm not advocating suicide, but if you have to shoot yourself in the head, use a magnum. That's my personal PSA. Alright. Well, doing pretty good. Carlos, why didn't you give me all your heels you had on you? Heels on wheels. Alright. Oh, uh... <laughs> When I was getting back up to the point where I died in the stream last night, I sorted my inventory. Isn't it purdy? Oh, I picked up the mine thrower too. Because why not? Because I hate myself. Alright. Let's save because I've realized I could die at any moment. The reality of my life is I could die at any moment. But the tragedy is, I don't. Carlos, I don't know what Carlos does the whole game. You just, I, I mean, he must just stalk Jill and you keep running into him at random points. I really don't know what he's fucking doing. That's a good inventory right there. I guess I'll take a heal. I've learned my lesson. It's like my mom always said, keep a full heal on you. And don't shoot your drawers. I live by both. 
Uh, if you manage to shoot the Nemesis enough, as Carlos here, uh, he's a bit weaker when you get out of there as Jill. If you're doing a, hey, I'm going to beat Nemesis every time I see him play through, which you have to do to get the infinite ammo crate or the assault rifle in your first playthrough. But I'm not, because I don't care. Although, one of those first aid kits, uh, the, the little thing that holds three first aid sprays, would be pretty fucking sweet to get a hold of. If I beat him one more time, he'll drop one. I have both sets of eagle parts, but I didn't use them, because why do I need the eagle? It doesn't take enhanced handgun ammo, so it's fucking dead to me. If you beat them all the times, you get the awesome lethal action shotgun, though. Also, I guess Nemesis, like, ate all the spiders that used to be in that hallway because they're gone. Is there ever a Nikolai that isn't a prick? I don't know a lot of Nikolais. Garrett, you played Stalker. You know any Nikolais? You can't kill Nemesis unless you have a mounted super cannon. Spoilers, we're gonna... You motherfuckers in the stream did not tell me to bring my lockpick. And you knew. You knew I needed it. Oh, I'm so disappointed in all of you. Not mad at you. Just disappointed. Where did the nemesis go? Did he just get tired of running behind me? How can I make you mad? I don't know. It's probably not that hard. I spend most of my day mad. I'm mad that you asked me that. Does that count? Alright. Ooh. Magic box. I got the magic box. There you are. I'm too busy playing Animal Crossing. Fuggin' Animal Crossing. You should use a QR code to get, like, a Jill Valentine or a Chris Redfield outfit. You'd be so styling. I bet they both exist. Is the mouse still off the screen? Okay, thank God. Oh, uh, I'm watching the stream on my laptop so I can see the chat log, and I saw the mouse up there for a second, and my heart grew still. Because I every time I've put one of these together, I see the mouse pointer on the screen, and I get so fucking mad at myself. Zombies! I like how they reset. There we go. Pick the shit out of that lot. All of them are filled with Sentai costumes, but there are Sentai costumes built in Animal Crossing. You got like the red Zap Hero and all that shit. Get a little bit of KK Rider playing. Go KK Rider. So many old CRT televisions. Tommy, do you remember when we used to hang out like in high school and I would bring my own 20 inch CRT television and my own PlayStation over to your house? So we could both sit in your room and play different PlayStation games. Ah, <laughs> oh, those were the good old times. You'd be grinding the fucking Knights of the Round Materia in Final Fantasy VII, and I'd be playing Resident Evil 2. Trying to unlock Tofu. That was a summer well spent. So many grenade rounds. My goodness. That's clean management tour, I tell you what. I want this picture on the table. She'll pick it up. No, that's not a picture, it's an ink ribbon. Fine. I don't want it anyway. Stupid. The zombies did politely let me pick that lock. Is there anything sexier than an enhanced samurai edge handgun? Because I don't think there is. The only thing that would make it hotter if it was Barry Burton firing. That was so unnecessary for them to make you lockpick that door. I just realized. There was no fucking point to it. Oh, hey, a hunter. 
Hunters hate shotguns, right? Maybe if we walk real slow, methodically, he won't notice us. Ugh! Dick. I was about to say, get back up. But he didn't. Oh, he did. Okay. Enhanced handgun time, babe. Yeah, put that fucker down. Sorry, son. The hunter was rabid. Had to put him down. Step back, son. You bother me. That's a little teaser for 1 a.m. gaming. Alright, we have to go do the uh, little puzzle where you, you grind your gears or whatever. I see you down there. Look at him running in place like he's so fucking cool. I wonder if I can shoot him from up here. Let's see. No. Oh, wait. Did that hit him? Fuck yeah, it did. What a bitch. Four enhanced handgun bullets? A zombie can take more than that. Hunter's a fucking weak sauce. Alright, is this where the, the fountain is? Yeah. Yeah, it is, boys. Resident Evil did go in a weird direction. And by weird, I mean terrible and mad. Alright, we gotta find the secret gear combination. When was the last time you walked through waist deep water? It's a question for anyone in the stream. So we need the two black ones in the top right and the two white ones on the bottom. Got it. Also, I don't understand how this puzzle works, like in the in physics in the real world, because you only get a certain number of moves to rearrange these gears, but isn't she pulling the gears off of the cogs to do it? So, like, what is happening? Oh god, I fucked up the world. Fine, hit start, and she'll be like, it didn't work. I can't build here, something's in the way. Yes, I will open the lid, thank you. Alright, this time we'll do that, 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 and that. There we go. There's so much Animal Crossing black market wheeling and dealing going on in the chat log. Order in a cow zone! Listen to this fat cat motherfucker. Too cool for school. I am rich in herbs. Call me Herb Richington. What's the difference between a calzone and a uh, that thing that's not a calzone? Stromboli? Is that what I'm thinking of? One has sauce inside. Which one has the sauce? That way when I request the sauce, I'll know which one I'm going to get. You forget? Oh, I'm ruined. Be begombed in sauce. Stromboli. I'm Mexican, not Italian. What about Mexican stromboli? It's made of corn tortillas and refried beans. Excuse me, frijoles negros. Me gusta. Me llamo es... Frejoles Negros uh, fan 380. <laughs> that kind of broke down, didn't it? <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Oh, God. We had to fight that giant fucking worm thing. Jill, you run into the most crazy fucking shit to fight. Wait, I go this way, right? Also, the one... Oh, wait. I need those red herbs. It's like a genuine fucking instance of running into zombies in a Resident Evil game. Like, graveyard zombies. Also, how... How did they get the T-Virus? They're buried in the ground. Ugh. My lore, my immersion. The Resident Evil Wiki will hear of this outrage. Citations will be needed. <laughs> he woke up to a bad situation. Also, I like how they've been buried in their fucking work. No, Jill, aim at the guy next to you. Ugh. 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 There. Thank God they have knocked back. Win back. Covert Operations. That was a Nintendo 64 game, wasn't it? Ooh. There we go. Got it. Get it? Got it? Good. Oh, God. I hate this part of this game. <laughs> I never remember where to go first. 
Luckily, I got bullets for days, so it doesn't matter. The virus is in the water. Really? Citation needed. Okay, so D is done. That's true. Perhaps they were buried before shit really hit the fan. Well, that still doesn't explain why they have the T virus in them. William Birkin didn't come up there and be like, oh, I think I'll pour some T virus on his graves. It'll be fucking awesome. That'll show Hunk and those other guys. Well, let's run our ass to the other end of the park and get the fucking key we missed. Mansion the tank right. The mansion is in the Arkley Mountains, in the middle of the woods. I don't care how bad a Sagda tank rupture you're gonna have, that shit ain't gonna go miles into the city. Y'all need to work on your fan fiction. Sorry, I was reading the stream chat. I need Google Glass just to have the stream chat in front of my eyes at all times. I'd be so high tech. All right. Run off. My personal theory is it was Barry Burton, because everything that happens in Resident Evil is Barry's wheel. Oh, we need to get the ending with Barry in it. Remind me of that. Oh, hey, guy. How you doing? He's like, well, I was all right. Until your bitch ass came and fucking shot the shit out of me. These bullets are so fucking satisfying to use. I just can't get over it. I want this shit in every Resident Evil. All the time. All right. We'll give him the one shotgun shell to rule them all. You earned it, Chief. <laughs> Nanomachines and... Yeah, that's true. It was nanomachines and the fox die virus. That's exactly what happened to Raccoon City. Oh, God. Hunter, you're a bitch, and you'll get the bitch death you deserve. Oh God, Jill! Oh Jesus! They cut her fucking head off. <laughs> That's brutal. The moral of the lesson is: don't get gang fucked by hunters in a corner. That's brutal as fuck. All right, where did I say? I think I saved when I gained control of Jill. Right? That sounds right, doesn't it? What do you think, narrator guy? He's like, I'm too busy talking in this cool voice. I won't give up. I won't allow them to win. I will survive. They can't stop my last escape. Hey, at least I'll remember the lockpick this time. So we need you. I'm going to be fighting hunters for days. So let's take this fucking useless thing with us. That's good. In fact, we can just leave the shotgun. Which sounds blasphemous, but we don't really need it right now. Alright. <laughs> we are all the way back here. Son, it'll go by quick. I won't dilly-dally around like I was doing before. Well, I mean, I'll spend 30 minutes trying to go through a doorway, but... I'm just gonna run straight there. There and back again. A Jill Valentine's Tale. Well, I am watching all the cutscenes, Hosier. I want you to know what's happening. The the deep, rich tapestry that is Resident Evil 3's story. I was about to say, worse than damn Nemesis, but there he is. Just from the fact that I don't have to run back and get my lockpick means this is going to take like half as long as the previous endeavor. Plus, I won't go to the wrong end of the fucking graveyard first. Technically, it's the best thing that could have happened. This is just basically I got killed by hunters and went back to the last bonfire. 
is what happened. I do let cutscenes play from time to time. Only when needed. Alright. Got the park key. Seems to be broken. Wasn't that a damn shame? Damn shame when that happens. <laughs> yes, I'd love these mine thrower rounds. God, what a useless fucking weapon. I just realized we proc nothing but mine thrower rounds in here instead of grenade rounds this time. <laughs> Maybe I should take that fucking thing with me and use it to kill zombies. Just for fucking shits and giggles. Where are you at? Where are my mine throwers at? I don't think I need this lock pick anymore. You're reduced to that part. Let's see, I need room for the, all those herbs. It's like three red and green and such. Yeah, it should be good. A prototype weapon made by Umbrella's armament department. It uses special bullets equipped with a sensor. Okay. Thanks, Paul Harvey. You know, if uh, you use the infinite ammo crate on this thing, it shoots fucking, like, homing missiles. It's crazy. Shisha! What the hell, Jill? You didn't even name. <laughs> it is pretty fucking satisfying to use, I have to admit. This reminds me of my Mind Thrower only run of Resident Evil 4 that I think I mentioned uh, 50 fucking times in my Resident Evil 4 playthrough. Also, you can't reload it until you've shot all of its ammo. It's very strange. Does she have a reload animation for it? No. It's not even cool. Why did they put this fucking gun in this game? It's you. Ugh. Damn it, Shinji Akami or Shinji Ikari. No wonder your dad hates you and doesn't want you to pilot the Ava. Let's see, do we have the hunters this time? Yes, we do. Let's ignore them unwisely. <laughs> Poor motherfucker. <laughs> Damn, I should have been using this all along. This shit's fucking gold. Why watch a commentary if you don't want to hear commentary? That's true. Why don't you go on V and be like, Hey guys, who's your favorite LP here? So they can be like, Oh, I play video games instead of watching other people play them. And then I fuck 20 hot chicks in a barn. He just got kind of Looney Tunes-esque singed by that thing. Better go back and get all your souls in humanity. Look at the skip over Graham cutscenes and Aria. Well, you're playing Aria Sara, Axel. It's just text. Like, there's nothing to hear. You could. That's a dog. Or it was a dog. <laughs> this thing is a fucking anti dog gun. It's also empty. My god, gun of the year! <laughs> How did I never notice this is the best fucking weapon in the game? All these wasted years. Also, you'll notice I brought dogs instead of hunters. It's a little bit better. What was this mercenary doing with the park key? He's holding something. Let me guess a diary. Wrote to the supervisors. It was like, uh, can we get some more Snickers in the break room? If the machine's completely out and I'm tired of eating paydays. Anyone like paydays? Those, like, peanut candy bars? I'm not a huge fan. I think this guy has magnum bullets on him. Yes, he does. Already in a speed loader. Here he comes, he comes, speed loader. He's the handgun on wheels. God, I'm missing so much of the stream chat. Y'all have so much more fun than I do when I stream, because y'all get to talk amongst yourselves. Uh, that you never finished, Shinji Ikari Warriors. <laughs> They aren't bad, not the best. That's true. It's because we get to have jolly cooperation. It's true. You're fucking praising the sun all day, every day. What did I, Dustin? What were you referring to that I never finished? I've completely forgot what I said five seconds ago. Did I just run back through the same door? What the hell? 
God, I need to get Barry Punch in here because I'm drunk. Speaking of the Souls game, I played Demon Souls for like six fucking hours today. I was trying to get all the trophies, but I don't really know that much about Demon Souls. Fucking world tendency is a pain in the ass. You fucking go in there and scratch your nose wrong, and they're like, plus five black world tendency. Ho ho ho. Five, five points for Gryffindor. And then you're like, well, I want solid black so I can get them black fanons. And they're like, oh, you stopped to pet a kitten. Plus 70 white world tendency. <laughs> I don't know shit about Demon Souls. It's a fun game, though. I recommend it. It has such a different feel from Dark Souls. Like, even if you've played Dark Souls for hundreds of hours, Demon Souls is just so different. I feel like it's bleaker. No, I fucked everything up. God damn it. D -d -d -d. <laughs> Nothing happened, really. I like to think Jill is saying all those prompts at the bottom. She's like, do you want to open the lid? She's talking to me because I'm Zach. She's like, looks like some kind of fountain puzzle, eh, Zach? That's right, FK in the green herbs. It always comes through. I need to play Deadly Premonition. Who do I need to play it with? Probably Garrett. Garrett, do you know a lot about Deadly Premonition? So when me and you play it, it will be comical? Or are you fucking grandmaster of it and there will be no surprises? My god, look at that strange chap. Wait. Okay, I have the key this time. I fucking flash back to the future. I code Leo code for a second there. Is there a code Leo code video game? There has to be, right? I need to play that shit for 1 a.m. gaming. We're down to nine people in the stream. I ran everyone off. You want more Garrett plays Amnesia? I made a uh, playlist recently of like one-shot videos and short series, and I put the two Garrett plays Amnesias in there. I don't know what that signifies, but that's where they are. That's where you'll find them. <laughs> it's blue straight up. No filler. No MSG. Alright. This thing's like a delayed magnum. Uh, should I go back and get those green herbs? Yeah, well, how many heals am I going to need for the grave digger? Uh, we'll just save beforehand. No problem, you can't save away. <sighs> Dark Souls has bonfires. Yes, it does. Yeah, it really is. Tennessee goes down if you don't. Oh, God, there's too much information. I'm getting stream chat overload. Garrett would be amusing. He would be. Garrett, you need to start your own YouTube channel that will overshine mine. How many inventory spaces I got open? We'll never know, because I opened the inventory and it's a black screen forever. Why does this happen? This is the PSN version of the game. It's not like I'm running a scratch disc. This iron pipe should be a weapon. You should just be able to hit Nemesis right in the fucking mouth with it, and he just looks sad and walks away. <laughs> like, he just gets a tear in his eye and he just walks away, and then Jill feels bad. Oh, wait, I had to use the lighter one last cock-sucking time, don't I? Fuck. Well, let's grab some gunpowder before we go. Gunpowder Legends. The mouse is on the screen? How? I didn't even touch it. Hey, there's a first aid spray hiding here. And rotted pumpkins. Oh, they're dried up. Sorry. Just like Smashing Pumpkins. What's a famous Smashing Pumpkins song? Because I don't know any because I'm an old man. Also, I'm loaded with red herbs and spices. Time for my favorite part of the game. Inventory management. Inventory management simulator. Tell you what, we'll put our ammo down here. And our weapons up here. All right, let's go grab. Uh, let's burn that shit. Where's my lighter? 
Where is my lighter? Oh, there you are. All right, let's go burn that shit and get. Let's just do some prep work before we save and fight the boss. Rat in a cage, 1979. Bullet with butterfly wings. I don't know what any of that is. Somebody sing it using text. Did Smashing Pumpkin sing Welcome to the Jungle? Because I know that song. How do you know I don't need a lighter anymore? What if you get a fucking Nick fit, Jill? Best cutscene in the game. Knocks the shit out of this bricks. Like a shit brick house. Shit brick house. I think that's not the right way you're saying that, but I don't know. Tonight, tonight. Is that that song that's like, Tonight I'm gonna have myself a real good time. I feel alive, alive, and the world is smashing pumpkins, <laughs> floating around in ecstasy. So don't smash pumpkins, don't smash pumpkins, cause I'm smashing these pumpkins, smashing these pumpkins. Yeah, I love that song. Okay, so I do know a smashing pumpkins song. The history of rock. Look at him. I don't even think he's like dead. I think he just got drunk and fell off that stool. And he's so embarrassed that he's not moving. Auto receive. I think when I go to leave the room, a message happens. Also, there's a goddamn thing of plutonium on the table. Doc Brown's going to come raid that shit. Yeah, there we go. All supervisors, mission terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. He's like, we need a supervisor up front for a price override on cream corn. Ugh, cream corn is not very good. Just eat corn on the cob. It's better. I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted the detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Oh. Another mutant! <laughs> Man, Nikolai deuced the fuck out of here. Alright. You know how Nikolai has his like sleeves on his shirt rolled up and he has that black stuff under it going into his gloves? What is that like design called or that style of dress? Because it's the same way Naked Snake dresses in Snake Eater and I think it looks nifty. And when I become a Special Forces operative I want to be able to mimic it properly. All right, it's time for stream decision time. I have a bunch of powders, as you could see, in my box. So, should I just make more enhanced handgun ammo? Should I make grenade ammo? Should I make shotgun shells? Or should I blow it all and go full magnum? Let me know. I'll tally up the votes. There are eight of you, not including me. Actually, including me, and I vote magnum. My vote counts. So... You tell me what you want to do. Son, you do always go full back. Look at that magnum. So lonely with that one bullet in it. The idiot in me says magnum. Magnum or shotgun? Huh, that's a tough choice. Either way, you, don't get, you can't split your vote. You gotta dedicate, Axel. 
You don't flip flop on the issues. I don't see a vote from Garrett. I can't do it without you, Garrett. gotta be Magnum. Oh, I love Magnum bullets. They're delicious, like orange fucking Tic Tac. You know, I actually have enough that I can make Magnum bullets and enhanced handgun bullets, or I could make Magnum bullets and some shotgun shells. I mean, sky's the limit, folks. I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and make the Magnum bullets, and then we'll decide later. Son, time to mix a powder the CCC powder so you can get your degree that's a Carter at Community College joke anyone who doesn't live around Moorhead City won't get it I'm sorry look at all them sleek sexy magnum bullets if this magnum was a fine ass woman I'd make sweet love to it I'd be like hey baby why don't we go pop some heads and she's like oh my uh, let's see I gotta fight the grave digger so I guess I'll bring I mean, I don't really want to fight him with a handgun, right? Maybe I'll just take the Magnum. Go Magnum come loudy mode. Two men enters, only one Magnum leaves. Rated R. Alright, I probably won't need the shotgun to fight the damn Grave Digger. So we'll store that. Look, I'm, I'm resorting my inventory again. And I know I'm not going to need the damn Mind Thrower to fight it. So there's that. So pretty. Hmm. I ignored your vote. I mean, I guess I could stand there and let the grave, <laughs> grave digger kill me. It would be very funny. It's so funny, joke. All right. We need to take some heals. Two or three. Just enough heals to top us off. In case things get dicey. Andrew Dicey Clay. All right. Hmm. That's pretty good. Alright. That ought to hold us. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> Dustin, are you saying the highlights of Moorhead City are the Mongolian Grill and Luigi's Pizza? That's so fucking depressing. We do have a giant inflatable crab that you can fight. That's by the visitor center on the waterfront. Things ugly. Well, yeah, all oh, that sexy re reload animation like revolver. Jill's got the dead eye. Red Dead for Jill Valentine. God, I'm in red caution. Can't have that. Come get me, fucker. I'm right here. I'm gonna wiggle my fine star's ass at you. There we go. That magna made short work of him. And his death magically triggers a fence to fall over. So good for him. He's like Psycho Manus when he opens that damn doorway for you with his last fucking breath. Now Jill can see where the landmines are. Misogyny? Son, it's a compliment. It's 
It's not slut shaming, it's slut praising. It's like you'd be proud of that fine ass. The music's so ominous. I read the novelization of Resident Evil Nemesis, I just remembered. I don't think Jill gets the magnum in it. I think she gets the grenade launcher. I was immediately like calling the author. I was like, you need to rewrite this shit. Man, the Resident Evil novels are crazy. Oh, hey, zombies. Won't you take me too? Zombie I got way too close to that green shirted motherfucker before I opened my inventory. Oh, he vomited on me. Ugh. So fucking nasty. I still love how they can take a fucking grenade round from this piece of shit. Worthless. And he's, he took two. Ugh. Why don't I just throw discouraging words at him? Oh yeah, I have Doom 64. I was going to try to make a video of it once, but it's hard to play. It's almost like the Nintendo 64 controller is not very good, except for Mario 64. I love how they designed the controller for Mario 64, and then for every other game it's a pile of dips. It's like three dildos. Yeah, Doom 64 is like a unique version of Doom that doesn't exist anywhere else. That's pretty cool. Alright. Um, this is another stream decision time. Do I jump off of the bridge to escape Nemesis, or do I shove the Nemesis off the bridge? It'll kind of affect which ending I get, so we need a firm decision. I don't know. If you don't do anything during those gray scenes, like, it picks one of them, so it doesn't really accomplish anything. Mufasa, that shit. All right. Shove him off the bridge so he lives. I thought you said push Nam at first. I was like, oh god, you want me to push the political agenda of the Vietnam War. But it turns out you said push Nam, which means push the nemesis. So, never mind. Is Garrett still in the stream? He ain't said nothing recently. Alright, we're going to push the nemesis off the bridge. See you later, fucker. Well, that felt good. Although we did miss a dramatic Carlos meeting because we didn't go down below. So you'll have to sleep. You'll have to somehow sleep tonight knowing you deprived yourself of a chance to interact with Carlos. Oh yeah, you meet him here too. <laughs> Jill, listen very carefully. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks. Come on, we have to hurry. There isn't much time left. Yeah, if you end up down below, you get a cool scene where Carlos, like, saves you from, uh, well, I mean, saves you, in quotation marks, from a, a big pack of zombies by shooting them with that fucking assault rifle. Also, we got enough powders to make more magnum bullets, so instead of asking y'all, I'm just going to make more magnum bullets. <laughs> I'm just going to disregard y'all's wishes. Damn, I got so many heels now. Fat heels, too. Big, girthy, thick, throbbing 12-inch heels. Enough to satisfy any strong, independent woman that don't need no man.
CCC powder. Where does Joe get all these damn stickers? Just as a roll of them. There's a way to get a rocket launcher in this place, but I always seem to miss it. Does anyone remember how to get the rocket launcher in this game? Other than the infinite one that's been sitting in my box the whole playthrough. All right. There we go. Now that's a weapon. So we'll store this. We'll store the grenade launcher for now. And we'll take... Let's use up the rest of this fucking thing. How's that sound? Oh yeah, I guess we'll take our handgun too. <laughs> Just have a normal weapon. No, we don't want all power weapons. Damn, my whole fucking inventory is ordnance. Hmm. Maybe I don't need this magnum with me. Oh, but I love it so much. Nope. I'll just take it with me. If I run out of inventory space, I run out of inventory space. Oh, I guess I should heal too. Or save. Ugh. So much management of items. If we're running any hunters, that's what we'll use the magnum on. Or the nemesis. The nemesis has been promoted to Magnum tier. He gets Magnum priority. What do I have equipped? Oh, the mine thrower. I was like, wait a minute, Jill, what are you carrying? Anything in this locker? No, okay. Let's just sit back, relax, kill two tree zombies, maybe shoot Nemesis once or twice, be done with it. Oh, the damn steam room puzzle. Forgot about this shit. I mean, it's not much of a puzzle. It's kind of busy work more than anything. This is needlessly complicated. Like, what is the purpose of this room? I know you can have a boiler room and a steam room and a building, but why have a little intricate maze of switches? There. video game that's the only answer it's a video game you ever been burned by steam and I don't mean you bought a game on steam and it turned out to be terrible I mean actual steam Yes, I have, and it was terrible. What game did you buy? Did you accidentally buy the War Z? <laughs> I... Oh, no. I gotta let that mine blow up first. Huh. This really is a very satisfying weapon to use. <laughs> I'm just gonna move Jill forward slowly without actually moving her legs. Yeah, how you like that? Didn't expect me to have my damn magnum out, did you? You thought I was gonna save all the bullets for the final boss. Little you know that I don't give a shit. I think they're just plain old everyday zombies in here. So let's use up the last of this thing. Ah, an MO disc. Now we're playing Resident Evil.
What the hell, Jill? You missed. You missed twice. There we go. Huh? The thing's finally fucking empty. It did its job, I guess. Good work. Good job, mine thrower. You're a credit to your people. <laughs> he joined the steam an hour before the steam sale ended. Oh, shit. Come on! Oh god damn it, I even dodged and everything. Fucking hate that bullshit. Come on. Come on. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'll come to you. I'll bring the Magnum to you. Ugh. What an asshole. Ooh, look, our ammo matches. I'm so fucking happy. There's two boxes of shotgun shells just sitting here. Why would you need these in a water treatment plant? That's secretly an umbrella. Well, I just answered my own question. <laughs> They're like, every standard issue umbrella scientist is issued with a lab coat, a key card, and 14 shotgun shells. Make them count. Oh god, there's creepy crawly worms. Oh yeah, this is the area where you, if you jump off the bridge, you end up down here. And it's where you run into Carlos during his cool assault rifle scene. Where he gets to play the big damn hero. Get the fuck off of me! Goddamn lamprey sons of bitches! Oh, well, I mean, it's bring your own shotguns. B-Y-O-S-G. They can't just be giving every chuckle fuck scientist a shotgun. They fucking have each other killed in a day. All right, that's good. water sample. Oh, we get to do the little water sample game. I forgot about that. This game has so little so many little mini games chalked into it. Chalked full of peckers and lips, just like potted meat. Ooh, first aid spray. Thank you. Okay, so we have to line the A, B, and C columns up so it makes that little pattern at the top. So let's do it. Alrighty. I think you need to be right there. And then, are y'all discussing Final Fantasy in the chat? And you left me out, but I love Final Fantasy. It's just like my Japanese animes. Uh, that forms up there. It's almost perfect, but not quite. Not quite where we need it. Let's see if I leave you there. Move the blue over one. That should work. Let's try it. No, wait. Check that shit. No. God, I fucked everything up. <laughs> I got it kinda right. So let's see. We need to move B there. No, because then it doesn't have that thing in the middle. Hmm. So then we need to move C. But where do we need to move you? Right 
right, 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 <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Mm, no, that's still not right. It'll make that thing over there wrong. Let's keep this shit going. Well, we need a... Hold on. No, go back to the right. Oh, God, I lost the chat log. I'm going to interrupt this puzzle to read the chat log. You're going to emulate Final Fantasy IX? I mean, it's fucking brilliant. I want to play through it with my friend Luther, who was in the stream last night, but I don't know if we'll ever get together. Which Final Fantasy have you played, Axel? Let's see. I need to move you here. No, wait a fucking minute. That big blue one needs to be around here. Damn it. <laughs> I'm so bad at this puzzle. Born in 94. I think that's when Final Fantasy VI came out. <laughs> How did you play 13? Alright. So we know A can't be there. It has to be... I'm pretty sure A has to be right there. Let's see. So you played Final Fantasy VIII. I have to solve... Not only do I have to solve this puzzle in Resident Evil, I have to solve the puzzle of which Final Fantasy's Axial has played. Uh, if that goes here, then the yellow will fill up. That'll be two. That works. And that'll be one there. No, it needs to move. Damn it. But to where? Not there. Where do we need that big yellow one? I guess it's got to be in the middle like that. That would form that kind of pattern. Let's see what we can do with the blue one. Let's see. If we move the blue one here... Mm, that makes too many at the beginning, though. Uh, we don't need you there. My god, move over. No, that would be too tall. This fuck puzzle make my head hurt. Um. Damn it. I can't solve this shit. Uh, if only I were good at video games. Alright, we'll put the blue like here. And then we'll see what we can do with the yellow one. How's that sound? I played them when I was younger, but my SNES was stolen. Well, that's terrible. That's the saddest fucking thing I've ever seen anyone type on the internet. I have my first SNES hooked up right now with Link to the Past sitting in it. I may have to parlay this stream into just being Link to the Past. At least I can solve the puzzles in that shit. Okay, uh, you can't be there. That... Let's try it. Ooh, I think I may have just solved it. Hell yeah, I solved the shit out of that puzzle. Lady of the Past is not just the best Zelda game, it's the best video game ever made, and I fucking love it. Watch Day 12 of the 12 Days of Link, son. I am going to do a full playthrough of it one day, though. I don't know if I'll stream it, but I am going to. That's for damn sure. Here we go. I think that somehow is involved in getting the rocket launcher. So we'll see if it plays out or pays out. Let's just heal. I'm tired of seeing Jill hold her fucking side. God, there's so much going on in the chat that I was solving that puzzle. I didn't read all of it. Axial, you need to play minimum. You need to play Final Fantasy 6, 7, 8, and 9 are all fucking good. But 5 is really good. The first one's alright. You don't have to play that. Although it can establish some norms. Two through four. People love four. I didn't play it when I was a kid, so I'm not that into it. It's kind of... I don't know. It's got one of those plots, like a Disney movie, where like all these characters have dramatic deaths, but then, the spoilers, they don't actually die. They're like, oh, I just slept and drank some orange juice. I'm perfectly fine now. So, 
like, I don't know. Five is just fun. It's just a video game. Like, it has a basic plot, but it has the best fucking job system. It's the, the job system they base Final Fantasy Tactics on, so you know it's good. And then six is a fucking masterpiece. Seven is the one everyone loves. I mean, it's not bad, but don't believe the hype. Eight has Laguna and Man with the Machine Gun in it. Nine is a return to form and like a throwback to old Final Fantasy. So if you're not a fan of old Final Fantasy, you probably won't get a lot of that. But it's just a good game by itself. And ten is pretty. And there's that scene where Titus and Yuna laugh. Eleven's an MMO that you should never play. And twelve is boring and has a stupid political plot and no main character. And thirteen is thirteen. And fourteen is also an MMO. So there you go. That's your Final Fantasy pedigree right there. <laughs> All wrapped up in a bow. I just realized I need to bring a red herb with me because I'm going to be grabbing those green herbs and it'll make me a full heal. Alright. To talk about the game I'm playing for once. Axel, does every video game you've ever owned been stolen? Do you live in the, the fucking Bronx? Do you have to go out every day with a tire iron in one hand and a switchblade knife in the other and just start swinging as you run to your car? Check about Mystery Dungeon. Never played it. What? I killed all of you. Fine, I'll do it again. I had to so silently shoot all those enemies <laughs> with such hate in my heart. Ugh. Alright, let's get back on track. I don't think this video is up to 10 face standards. I haven't been saying enough inane shit. Been too busy trying to read the chat and solve like one puzzle. <laughs> been too busy getting a fucking headache from trying to solve one puzzle. Oh god, I remember Dustin the one time we were able to play Crystal Chronicles at your house and it was so much fun. If I could get a hold of the Game Boys and the link cables necessary, I would do full playthroughs of both Crystal Chronicles and Four Swords. And you know that shit would be fucking beautiful. You said you and Noah both have GBAs and link cables. So that would be two. I know Garrett, I've seen in his room a fuchsia... Game Boy Advance. So there's a Game Boy Advance. We would need a link cable to go with it. But I only own a Game Boy Micro, unfortunately. So I don't know if that works. I don't know if I can contribute to the grand scheme. But it would be so much fun. I know it would be so much fun. It might be fun enough that I'd shit my drawers. And I'll say that often. That's a special occasion. I have two big fucking healing items. <laughs> well, how cheap are, like, original Game Boy Advances now? Wait. I completely missed something. Let's head back. Oh, it was that damn door downstairs. I didn't go through it. Alright, let's head back down there. 21 bucks used on Amazon. I see. If only there was a way to use a 3DS to do it. Why did Nintendo have such a fucking hard on for these weird ass peripherals? I believe Reggie fils and Shigeru Miyamoto hanging out together. <gasps> Nikolai! You're still wandering around. Nikolai? So, you want to get out of here alone? Is that your plan? I made certain none of the other supervisors survive. Since I'll be the only one who knows what really happened, I'll have more bargaining power when it comes to discussing my bonus. Then why kill me? I'm not on their payroll. They want to be eliminated for reasons of their own. 
The amount is modest, but there is a reward to be claimed upon the confirmation of your death. That's great. Except I have no intention of contributing to your retirement fund. So Nikolai just got fucking murdered by a monster. <laughs> um, he's uh, yeah, he's graveyard fucking dead. This uh, I mean I'm glad Nikolai's dead and he, he died horribly, but this happened because we shoved Nemesis off the bridge, and unfortunately it means we can't get the ending with Barry Burton in it. So let's all take a moment and bow our heads because. I fucking love Barry Burton, and he is not in enough Resident Evil. Alright, enough. Solidly locked. <laughs> Some say. Well, I mean, you could kill. You could shoot down Nikolai's helicopter and still get the Barry ending. I guess it is nicer to see him fucking butchered. Alright, time for a dramatic nemesis battle where we shoot these fucking things on the wall. Oh god, I meant to shoot the one right beside him, but Jill didn't aim at it. Also, I probably shouldn't run into acid. I'm not the nemesis, I can't handle that shit. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, come get me, slugger. Running! Get up, Jill. Haha, <laughs> I got you good, fucker. Got that fucker good. Iced him. Vanilla iced him. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Hit the thing on the wall, Jill. Oh, fuck. Alright. Oh, my one heal. Alright. Time to upgrade the Magnum class. Well, we blew his... <laughs> we've knocked his fucking head off, but he's the nemesis. And that's not exactly enough to stop him. He's got uh, quite a bit of vitality going. I'll give him that. Take a few magnum bullets. He'll take them in the jaw like a pro. Alright, we're gonna aim at this fucking thing for him to come over here and get hit by it. Alright. Dodge. Oh! Merry fucking Christmas, fucker! April showers bring May flowers. I don't think that was a badass action line, but it felt good saying it. How convenient that that fucking dead fucker's card key fell out at that exact moment. Well, the nemesis is dead forever and we'll never see him again. Doop a doop a doo. I like to think that's not an automated message. It's some lady in the facility on the intercom. She's like, missile attack imminent. Today's lunch will be chicken McNuggets. Please remember to have all progress reports signed by your parents.
All right. Going a little shotgun crazy right there because I don't really need it anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to take it into the final boss fight, so... Can't take it with you. You might as well shoot it now. All right, who's still alive in here? More zombies, I assume. I think when you open this, they appear. There they are. Ain't they beautiful? Naked zombies. Isn't that a new reality show? Have you seen that stupid fucking reality show where they took and dumped two naked people in the woods? And we're like, good luck, fuckers. <laughs> this camera crew is going to stand around and watch your ass starve to death. Or get fucked by a lion. It's a common threat in the jungle. Do you know how many people get fucked by lions in the jungle every year? Like that he turned into Scorpion from Mortal Kombat at the end of that conversation. You got the radar receiver. Yay us. This room got fucked up independently of everything else that's happened. Pretty sure zombies didn't come and shoot these windows out. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Oh yeah! Are y'all getting tense? It's down in the wire. You getting nervous? Are your hands shaking? Alright, let's finish off what zombies are left in here. Then let's go fight the damn nemesis. For the final time. The true and final battle. Oh hey, shotgun reload animation. I don't think I propped that a single time throughout the normal playthrough of the game. Alright. Oh, I shot all these shotgun shells and they've given me more right at the end. They're like, oh, we see you like that shotgun, so have some more. Be absolutely fucking lousy with shotgun shells. Of course, the game's got to render the sprite graphics of the shotgun box, apparently. Because it went black for a month. No, oh, I gotta decide what to take on the final boss fight with me. The incinerator manual. Sounds fucking brutal. Alright. So, if we store you, can we take a couple of first aid sprays? I guess we'll take the grenade launcher and one more first aid spray. That the fucking hold us. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and just, just to top us off, I got so fucking many, and we're not coming back, we'll just eat one immediately. How did I end up with so many first aid sprays throughout this game? Alright, you and you need to be here. Gotta keep the inventory pretty. That's, the, that's how you get a good rank at the end of the game. They're like, inventory is A+. Plus. Oh, yeah! Wait, I completely missed the damn rocket launcher. Fuck! I always miss the rocket launcher. It was, oh, the elevator in the steam room. Did I go down there? I'm pretty sure that's where it was. Ah, fuck it. It's not like I need it. Alright, do I push these in yet? Oh, hey, fun fact. Look, it's the tyrant from Resident Evil 2. Or a tyrant like him. He's so spread eagle crushed into that wall. Alright, you have to shove those in eventually. 
the fire. This fucking thing. Uh, there's the Mr. X, Wesley Snipes looking motherfucker. The New York Knicks looking son of a bitch. Crushed under there. So all kinds of cool stuff. Oh, I love this computer's voice. He's so gruff. It's like the David Hayter of computer voices. That's so sad. I'm sorry, computer voice. I didn't mean to let you down. Some big ass batteries. Battery. Hey, Nemesis. You're looking pretty. <laughs> Did you do something with your hair? Okay, let's finish pushing this shit in here. Alright, the thing is, we need the Nemesis to be over there in the corner when we activate that shit. So we need to start shooting him. Because when he gets hurt, he goes over there and starts eating that tyrant. So we need him to be hurt. So he'll go over Oh, I'm about to get hit in the fucking mouth with fucking uh, acidic bukkake. Still in fine. Oh god, get up, Jill. You can take more than that. Maybe not that much, but still. My goodness. Luckily I got heals for days. So it doesn't matter. Put so much deeps in this motherfucker. Oh god, I even had time for a slick uh, active time reload. What am I at? Normal caution? That's good. Okay, now I'm in danger <laughs> because. He fucking unloaded. He blew a fucking seven week load on me. Aren't you bad off in that? You got. Yeah, there you go. Finally. Ooh, and left with six fucking bullets in that Magnum. Good times. Yeah, crawl your ass back over there and start eating that tyrant. I don't give a shit. That's right. Get that weak ass mutated shit out of my bracket seat. Oh god, he made the floor hurt me. It's like buying an Isaac. Keep going. Nobody wants to see you. Nobody likes you, Nemesis. Gotta have the Magnum equip. Alright. I think we're ready. So what was that rail cannon being used for other than fighting the nemesis? You can't exactly carry that shit around. Alright, is he over there in prime? Hey, I want to get shot with a rail cannon spot. Okay, he is hobbling his ass over there, so good for him. You can do it, nemesis. I believe in you. Come on, fire that shit. I hear it charging. Son, he ain't too happy. Hit him with another one. Put that son of a bitch in his place. <laughs> also, I have this Magnum trained on him just in case. Warning. 
wish my computer talked to me like that. It would be so swag. So swag. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh yeah, we gotta have our final battle. I could run away, but why would I do that? Geo, you're an Amazon. Well, that was satisfying. And look, we've got Magnum Bullets and First Aid Sprays for the trip home. In case we have to shoot some fucker to death six times. And heal. She did. She went one-handed with that shit. She got so leaked right at the end. I wish I could take the Magnum she picks up in that cutscene and I could dual wield right here at the end. I have nothing to fight, but I'd be so swag getting in this helicopter. I like that they outran a nuclear blast in a helicopter. And then the EMP blast hit them. But apparently their helicopter's hand crank. It's an Amish helicopter. So it didn't do shit to it. And now we have a rather unfortunate turn of events. It seems that the President and the Federal Council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The President and Federal Council have ruled that the battle's terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the death toll surpassing the 100,000 mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. He said that so passive aggressively. I don't think he actually cares. He's like, and now here's Bob with sports. Well, we played through Resident Evil 3. <laughs> Did everyone have a good time? I looked at the chat log and it's been 40 minutes of wrestling discussion. <laughs> so, maybe. Nemes maybe Nemesis will throw down in SummerSlam. <laughs> Did you have a great time, Hoger? Everybody learn something? Everyone tell me something you learned from Resident Evil 3. We'll have a big heartfelt montage here at the end. I learned that this game has it like a disproportionate amount of fucking healing items in it. Because I was lousy with them by the end of it. You learn stars. Well, yeah. That's something. Take that, take that life lesson with you. Carlos is a douche and all people named Nikolai are pricks. Yeah, that's another life lesson. 
A lot of people don't learn shit like that until, you know, until they're like 30 or 40. But you'll, you'll have it with you the whole time. Magnum Justice. It's a whole new kind of justice. Magnums and shotguns all day, every day. I want a shotgun magnum. Or a magnum shotgun. They sound equally badass. It's the most inspirational credits music. Play through a game with just a shotgun and a magnum. You can play Resident Evil 2. I mean, it's easy enough to play with just the magnum. If you take the shotgun with you, then it's even easier. <laughs> A hand load of shotgun. I got a D rank, but also got my shit rocked. Where are they? They're like on a houseboat. Look how sad Jill looks. Because she realizes she's on a houseboat with Carlos. Or maybe she's just sad at the rank I got. She's like, over four hours. Oh, got two more costumes. Yay me. Oh shit, we get our dramatic epilogue. Epilogue. Hunk has an epilogue in this, even though he's not in the game. I think his is the last one you unlock. Wow, we get to see what Chris was doing. Look at him, he's so unripped. This is before he tripped and fell into a vat of radioactive creatine. And became the fucking human rhinoceros that he is in Resident Evil 5. Yeah, there are like... there's if you Every time you beat the game, you unlock another epilogue. And there's like... Ten of them? There's Jill, Chris, Barry... Leon... Claire... Hunk. Uh, does Carlos get one? Maybe Sherry? I don't remember exactly. You want to see me play through Resident Evil 5, Axiom? I need to play it with someone. I tried to get Jeff to do it with me, but it's really hard to get Jeff to do videos with me. Because he's a grown-ass man. And has a wife. And a full-time job. And a life. <laughs> It's almost like I just can't convince him to come over and play video games all day. Luckily, Garrett and Noah have nothing better to do. <laughs> um, I'll have to do Mercenaries on this. Maybe I'll do Mercenaries for uh, 1AM Gaming. 1AM Gaming 30 is going to be a live stream 1AM Gaming. So maybe I'll make the Mercenaries from this one of the segments of it. How does that sound? Does that sound good to y'all? You get to vote on it because you're Tid Fae True Believers and you're here in the uh, the stream with me. What are y'all talking about? Now let me tell you something, Albert Wesker. Consider yourself lucky you're wearing this sunglasses because the star of the Macho Man shines bright tonight. With me in a scarred circle, no, no amount of ripped off Street Fighter moves will save you, dig it. Ha ha ha! That's beautiful. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I have uh, Resident Evil 5 on the 360. Is what I have it on. I used to have it on PS3 before my great PS3 meltdown I had when my PS3 broke and I got angry and sold all my games. Now I have a new PS3 that a sugar daddy sent to me because I've become a video game prostitute and the only game I physically own for it is Demon's Souls. <laughs> so... I have to. I need to build up my PS3 library back up. If it was on PS3, you'd play it with me. I'll see if I can get a cheap copy of it. Do I own the pre-order for Final Fantasy XIV? Wasn't that nice? When does that even come out, Hosier? If you're wondering why I'm scrolling through the title screen, it's because if I leave it here, it'll play the auto. Well, I guess I could just let it play the thing while we shoot the shit. 
It's the post stream Q and A. Anyone got any cues? Someone give me your best John Delancey as Q impression. Excalibur. Oh yeah. I'm going to I made a deal with somebody and I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy 14 on the Excalibur server. So if you get Final Fantasy 14 and you want to play with me, you can play on the Excalibur server. Tommy's getting it, but he's playing on Leviathan because he's too fucking cool. You couldn't find me on Steam. My name is Tenfei. It's very findable. Hey, if anyone wants to be my Steam friend, just send me a Steam request. As long as you're not a total douche nozzle, I'll add you. That was a personal insult for one person who left the stream already to go watch anime, so fuck him. Uh. Okay.